Hey everybody, Photog Nord here. I'm back with a uh, complimentary video to my blog post where I am looking at the uh, in-camera raw conversion smearing that happens to pictures uh, taken with a uh, high ISO. So let me just uh, open up Lightroom and show you what I'm talking about. So I imported the two files. Uh, of course the raw file is not black and white. Let me just reset that. So uh, this is how my uh, my ISO 6400 at f2 uh, at a 60th second looks taken with my Fuji X100. Um, this is my wife, Mrs. T, sitting in the couch, shopping on the iPad, and um, I just took this picture as a reference picture, and uh, we can see that there is uh, a lot of uh, digital noise, uh, which I will now call grain for the purpose of this video. Um, it uh, it doesn't really look nice in color, I don't like that, so I'll just do a basic black and white conversion here. And if we take a look, we can see we have the, the details in the skin, um, we have the, the details in the, in the lips, we have uh, sharp eyes, we have details all over, a little too much detail uh, in the couch and in the clothes and, 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 and places where I don't need detail. But all in all I'm, I'm very happy with the look of the, uh, the grain that is produced in the raw file without the uh, noise reduction. So uh, actually I quite like this picture even though it was just a snapshot so I think I'm going to keep it and what I would do just to to make this uh, look a little bit better, is I would add some contrast to 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 take down the uh, um, the blacks here a bit, um, and then I would uh, further perhaps just take the blacks down a bit because I'm really not interested in uh, all the details around her because uh, the face here is is nicely lit, and we can still still see the contours of the body and the couch. So. This is pretty much where I would end up uh, before I would print. So let's say I'm just uh, happy with this one. Okay, so uh, this was the uh, the raw picture. Uh, I'm quite happy about it. So uh, let's take a look at what happens when we take the exact same picture with the uh, Fuji X100 and do the uh, in-camera raw conversion to JPEG. And uh, it is very obvious what has happened here, and that is that uh, because you can only set the noise reduction to minus two, a lot of noise reduction is still happening. And, and the way that it does that is to try and remove all the noise, and it does that by smearing the picture. So what we're actually missing is a, an expert function in the camera to just uh, disable the noise reduction totally and we would be able to to use the images uh, out of the camera um, but in this case uh, it is self-explanatory you can see here the hair is smeared there's no detail we still have a few details in the skin but it's rather smeared looks painted uh, eyes look blurry lips uh, smeared hair it's very noticeable in the hair the clothes there's no details and the grains are like also smeared. Um, I do not like this look. And this is actually the, uh, the least smearing you will get um, out of the camera at ISO 6400. Uh, so for me this picture is totally unusable. Uh, let me just compare it here with the, uh, with the other one so you can see it. On the right here we have the we have the uh, the raw file and on the left we have the uh, the smeared uh, jpeg and uh, of course it's uh, up to each uh, and everyone's personal preference perhaps you, you like this look uh, the smeared look because it doesn't contain so much digital noise but personally i i like the digital noise uh, as long as it's as i get to keep all my my details uh, some of them and also, it's uh, it's important to to have the the subject matter fill uh, a lot of the frame, uh, so that the grain does not get uh, too large uh, compared to the uh, objects in your picture. 
So, but in this case, I think uh, I'm very ha happy and satisfied with the uh, ISO 6400 RAW file that I got out of the uh, Fuji X100. And uh, this one, not so much. But again, it's uh, a personal preference. Um, it is taken with the black and white uh, preset with the yellow filter. And uh, this is how it came out. So, um, take a look at the uh, high res picture I put in my blog post about this smearing. And if you like my blog post, please give me a thumbs up or write me a comment. Uh, I would appreciate that very much. And uh, I hope to see you guys soon. All right, bye bye.